And so we'll move on to item 4.2. Would the clerk please identify item 4.2? Agreement between the County of Orange and the City of Irvine for transfer of library services and property tax exchange. Very well. Um, those participating via Zoom may now raise their hand electronically to enter the speaker queue. And will the appropriate staff uh, please introduce themselves and proceed with the staff report. Welcome, Director. Thank you. Uh, good evening, Vice Mayor Agrin and City Council members. My name is Chris Lama. I'm the director of the Community Services Department here in Irvine. Uh, before you tonight is an item considering establishment of the City of Irvine Public Library System. Orange County Public Libraries, or OCPL, has been operating library services in Irvine since the city's incorporation. Over the years, there have been uh, disagreements between the city and OCPL regarding the county's investment and operation of libraries in Irvine. As part of those discussions, an MOU was established in 2012 with the intent to set aside excess tax dollars that Irvine contributed into the OCPL system for the benefit of Irvine libraries run by the county. With no agreements ever being made, um, being reached between the city and county on how those funds would be spent, the MOU ultimately expired in 2022. Following that expiration and continued differences, on February 28th, 2023, the City Council authorized the issuance of a letter of intent to the county regarding Irvine's withdrawal from the county system. Since then, the city and county have engaged in extensive conversations to negotiate a resolution um, to the longstanding differences. Those, no those negotiations have led to a proposed plan for the city to withdraw from OCPL and establish our own Irvine public library system. The agreement that is being presented for council consideration protects the city's two main interests. The amount of ongoing funds that the city will receive as part of the withdrawal and the addressing the one-time MOU set aside funds belonging to the county in order to benefit the Irvine library system. Per the agreement, if approved, the city will be scheduled to assume operations of the library, uh, Irvine library system starting July 1st, 2025. There are two components to the funding amounts negotiated in the agreement. In the initial year, that would be fiscal year 25-26, the county will pay $9 million to the city. Beginning July 1st of 2026, Irvine will receive 50% of the property tax revenue that is traditionally collected from the county library tax in Irvine. This immediately doubles the annual investment into Irvine libraries, assuring above nine million per year moving forward. OCPL currently spends about four to five million dollars per year for Irvine library services. While we certainly would have preferred securing a larger portion of ongoing funds, um, the incentive just simply wasn't there for the county to go higher than that. We are confident, though, that the committed amount per the agreement is sufficient to support operating a world-class library system. This can be evidenced by neighboring cities, Newport and Huntington Beach, operating much larger systems at eight and five million dollars a year, respectively. It's also important to note that these funds will not be the only revenue source for a city library system moving forward. Staff would explore additional funding mechanisms, uh, including partnerships with established Friends of Library groups, um, possibly establishing a library foundation for capital campaigns, grant opportunities, and other special fund options. While the set-aside MOU funds belong to the county, a significant part of those negotiations was how to address those monies meant to benefit Irvine libraries. The negotiated deal also requires the county to assist with startup costs for the city's library system to include transferring of OCPL uh, collections circulating through Irvine through Heritage and University Park libraries, transfer of furniture, fixtures, and equipment at both of those locations. The county will continue to operate all three libraries until an agreed upon withdrawal date, uh, which will most likely be June 30th of 2025, um, and that's at no cost to the city. The existing lease arrangement for Heritage Park Library will be terminated at no cost to the city 
and the county will lease the University Park Library to the city for an initial five years. There are some key phases of the transition leading up to July 1st, 2025. Um, as you see on the slide here, um, from now until March 31st, 2025, OCPL would continue to operate all three libraries within the county um, at full services. Starting in April through about May 15th, um, the county would operate Heritage Park and University Libraries at reduced hours, um, and this would allow the county to work towards vacating the premises. And then May 16th until June 30th, Heritage and University Park Libraries would be closed um, to allow the county to continue to vacate, um, and more importantly, the city would have access to both the libraries to facilitate the transition and then um, OCPL would ultimately plan to close the Irvine Katie Wheeler Library, uh, most likely on June 30th as well. And then uh, starting July 1st, again, 2025, Heritage and University Park Libraries will reopen as the first branches of the new city-run Irvine Public Library system. Um, Irvine residents will maintain the right to access items located within the county li library system throughout this transition and beyond. Um, a frequently asked question through the last year from community members has been whether or not they can continue accessing materials from OCPL system. And absolutely any resident of California with a valid ID can continue to obtain a library card within the county system and just about any public library within the state. If the city council approves the recommended actions tonight, there are some statutory requirements to be completed in order to allow Irvine Library operations to begin July 1st of 2025. Um, these include um, this agreement and associated resolutions uh, will be presented to the Board of Supervisors in August for their approval. Following that, a change of boundary statement for property tax transition purposes will be completed as required by education and government codes and preparation of notices to the State Board of Equalization, County Auditor, and County Assessor to be completed by the county. All of these required actions need to be completed by December 1st of 2024 to allow Irvine Library operations to begin in July of 2025. There are several immediate efforts that staff will initiate if approved um, tonight. Um, those recommended actions. So um, some of those immediate efforts would be one, um, the city would look to hire a city librarian to lead the transition planning and implementation process. The librarian would be charged with building and leading a new division created within the community services department to facilitate the library operation. The city will also budget $600,000 for startup and consultant services to assist staff with the transition, uh, the library system assessment, architectural services for expansion and modernization concept planning. So a few immediate priorities within that um, are one, establishing a plan to assume operations at the two library facilities with minimal closure time and impacts to service levels to the community. Um, while some closure of the libraries will be necessary for the transition, we definitely understand that the community will be concerned about a decrease in services. So we would do our best to minimize closures and explore opportunities to provide interim library programming, uh, possibly at existing community services facilities in the meantime. Uh, we'd also assess, have an assessment of the approximate 167,000 items, uh, the library collection being transferred to the city. Um, and um, ultimately uh, look at expanding that collection to make sure we're meeting the community's needs. And then developing a roadmap for additional library facilities throughout Irvine, including modernization and again, uh, expansion of Heritage Park Library. Um, preliminary re reviews coordinated by the city contemplate new branches in the Great Park, uh, the east end of the city, possible creation of a new library adjacent to Adventure Playground uh, to replace the current University Park library facility and expansion and modernization of the Heritage Park Library. Ultimately, initial signs are pointing to a system that would have um, one main library and up to four to six branches throughout the city. And then, um, and then lastly, uh, continued community engagement to ensure um, the future of Irvine Public Library System will provide exceptional programs and places the community needs. This opportunity to develop this new system um, will be so largely based on what we're hearing from, from the city and the residents as we move forward. 
So before you are the recommended actions, which in summary include uh, the approval of the agreement between the county and city for transition of library services, authorizing the city manager to complete the necessary steps to implement the agreement and enter into a lease for University Park Library, adopt a resolution notifying the county of the city's intent to withdraw from OCPL, adopt another resolution agreeing to the transfer of taxes between the county and city, adopt a resolution authorizing the full-time position in order to hire the full-time city librarian, and then approve the budget adjustment of 886, $886,965,000 to fund the city librarian and procure consultant services to assist with the transition and architectural services, and to note that those funds uh, are to be repaid from future library funds that the city will receive as part of the transition agreement. So thank you for the opportunity to present this item for your consideration, and I'm happy to answer any questions that you may have. Would the clerk please call the roll? Councilmember Carroll. Yes. Councilmember Kim. Yes. Councilmember Treceder. Yes. Vice Mayor Egren. Yes. Carries four to zero of the members present.